I had a quirky idea for three years. My dad introduced me to a man who made intarsia, big decorative pieces to adorn garages and barns. I wanted something like that for my barn, but what to make? Everyone has a barn star or a barn quilt or a flag or an eagle. How to be unique? I've always had a fascination with the living world. One day I imagined a squiggly column of marching ants crawling around three faces of my barn. The image wouldn't go away. It's the sort of thing that people would take one look and either like it or think I was nuts. It took the COVID crisis to make me feel entitled to be a little eccentric. I had plenty of time to think about the execution of this project. In order to not look kitschy, the ants would have to be fairly lifelike. They would have to be big enough to recognize from the road as ants, but small enough to not look scary. Being utterly impractical, I wasn't willing to spend too much time on it, so I had to figure a way to assembly line fabricate them quickly. I'm going to make some plywood stencils so I can quickly trace them out. Now I'm using the bandsaw to begin shaping the body pieces. And off to the disc sander to finish shaping them. Gotta watch my fingers. Took off a couple of my nails here. I've got to put some slots in the thoraxes to fit the wire legs into. I'm beginning to make a wire bending form to quickly make all the legs. There have to be nails near each bending point to hold the wire as it's being bent. So Now that it's all set up, 
I can make all 108 sets of legs in one session. cranking these wire legs out pretty quick. Kind of tickled about that. The wire is a little too fat to fit the grooves. So I tap it flat so that it fits and it will hold them at the correct angle. Now everything's ready for gluing. Just using a nail to push them all the way in. I'm cutting some nails to join the body segments together. And I have to pre-drill for each nail at the correct angle. Now that the underside's painted, I can put on some antennae. Made a quick bending form for that. Here I'm drilling holes for the mounting screws. Countersink goes first. Three coats on the top side. I'll make one that's the odd ant out. To add life, gotta put in some bead eyes. I made an entire other video showing me mounting the ants in my barn. You can see it on my channel, but I'd like to thank you for watching me seeing through this crazy idea of mine.